Uh, yes, uh, uh, this is Lala. This is its first time to hatch. As you're seeing, it has new hatched babies here. It's a very beautiful one. Uh, I like brooding these day all the chicks in natural way. Uh, just for one reason, I'm doing local chickens. So I like very much doing everything in its natural way. I do brood chicks myself uh, in artificial way. Uh, sometimes I let these very hens to brood there, uh, they or the chicks. In this video, uh, allow me to share with you uh, tricks at this chicken is to brood their own uh, chicks in big number and to let these chicken is to adopt other chicks from other chickens or maybe these body chicks from the hatchery. So just stick around. If you're new here, uh, don't forget to subscribe to, and also to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any upload. Mosei Chicks is my name, world best chicken dad. How will you uh, let this brood hen to adopt chicks to adopt the chicks as you think this one it has hatched its own chicks as you're seeing but this time around i want to discuss with you how can you do make it maybe to adopt or to give it more chicks of course you've watched lots of videos on this very channel uh seeing a hen with quite a number of chicks and you you have been uh, forwarding questions asking how it comes others you've been wondering uh you've been saying that maybe all those chicks are from that very hen uh it's not but it's just a trick i'm going to show you or oh, i'm going to give you uh, you think this hen it has hatched it has hatched about 11 of them but you can use this hen uh, you can add more chicks on this very hen and it takes care uh, to that number but sometimes it's not easy uh, just because every hen has its vices and it's uh, for that one reason I tell you always that if you have these chickens uh, in your yard or in your farm uh, try to know each and every ability of your hen uh, you may find that they are those chickens you know they are good at uh, taking care to these chicks are uh, those hens we are talking about but you may also ask me that how will I know yet I'm just starting I'll give you one trick uh, uh, but before uh, giving you that trick I will show you a hen here uh, the one uh, the one I used to brood up to 70 chicks. Sarah, these are your chicks. Sarah, Sarah, these are your chicks. But these chicks are from different mothers. Only that what I did, uh, I set these chicks, I set these hens uh, on their eggs on one day. Uh, that's the so-called synchronized hatching but when it reached the time these uh, hens to hatch I just uh, collected all of these 70 chicks and I gave to one hen and that hen I gave uh, it's the one I already knew that it's good at keeping chicks so guys uh, for that reason uh, you have to study each and every hen at your home or at your farm. That one will be very, very, very easy for you. As they started hatching, of course, I kept on uh, picking these chicks and I corrected them in a box. And that hen, I had to, to, to give the whole of these 70 chicks. Uh, I didn't correct the chicks from it. I let it to share that bond between her and the chicks 
when it reached when it reached time uh, to bring these rest of the chicks i have been correcting it was very easy for me to give it to eat uh, to place them to eat uh, it's one of the tricks uh, just to correct the just to correct these chicks from other hens as they are hatching and uh, let that hen you're going to give the, the rest of the chicks to to be sharing that bond to be sharing that love with the new hatched chicks then afterwards you will be introducing these chicks to this hen uh, minus minus rejecting them but as i said it depends other hens uh, just you know they reject you uh, these chicks that are not hatched by itself so just you know that hen that has that good heart of taking care to these adopted to these adopted chicks ah. you may also get uh somewhere these chicks maybe from the feed store uh, from the hatchery there and you want these chicks and you want this every hen uh, maybe you may have one hen uh, hatching maybe uh, hatching 10 and for you you want to add more chicks on that very hen so that it can brood uh, quite a number at the same time it's very easy just get those chicks from maybe the hatchery there but the advice here I will give, uh, bring these chicks or try to introduce these chicks uh, to this mother, to this mother uh, when the sun has already set at night. And what you will have to do as you bringing these chicks, uh, maybe in a certain box, uh, when you come at night, uh, it will be darkness there just come in that darkness bring your box with the chicks of course just you know these chicks in the box will start to cry we will start to cry and what you will have to do you will put that box just to bring that box near that hen uh, maybe you remove a few chicks from the box you put them very near not under the head, but very near. And you listen. And, and for you, you just monitor. As you put these chicks near that head, of course, they will start to cry. They will start to cry, calling. Yeah. When you hear this hen answering these chicks, just, you know, this hen will adopt these chicks i repeat when you hear this hen uh, answering this this these crying chicks just you know this hen will adopt these chicks then afterwards just to be just to be removing these chicks from the box sorry and you put them under the hen for that night then just come, just come back very early in the morning and also monitor again whether this hen is not uh, fighting these chicks, is not pecking these chicks. If it happen, it's not pecking these chicks, it's a tick, uh, just you know this hen will adopt or will take care to these chicks. What you will have to do, just move this hen with these chicks to that well set place. You're going to raise, you're going, you're going to let this hen taking care of brooding these chicks. That's one of the ways. That's one of the ways you can do it. Then the second way you can do it, as we said, you can buy these chicks uh from feed store or from the hatchery and you want them and you want to brood these chicks by these hens by the hen you can do it maybe even if you will be not having that hen that has just hatched 
uh, you can do it. You will ask how. What you need here, you need that brood head. As we talk, uh, as we talk about the brood, the broodiness, the broodiness or brooding, it's that period when this hen starts to sit on its eggs, hatching the hatching chicks, then brooding these hatched chicks. That period we call it a brooding period. Ah, for us we want to use this we want to use this hen uh, to brood for us the chicks maybe from uh, from the hatchery what we need here we need that brood hen just have that brood hen or just wait uh, your hen is to go brood then after this hen is going brood what you have to do of course you have to uh, to put their eggs uh maybe few eggs you have to mark them uh you may be maybe you may use cooked eggs uh you may use any fertilized eggs just for that purpose it's very advisable you give them up to seven days uh, let it be there up to seven days of course this hen uh will just you know that that it's a hatching uh then after seven days after uh after a period of seven days just to go to hatcher buy your chicks the number you know that he, this hen will be able to raise them or to brood them uh just to bring it but as i said try this one by use more than one hen if it happened uh one hen rejects or refuses to take care or to adopt it as chicks, you try another hen. I repeat it. If you want to use it, if you want to do it in the way I'm saying that you're going to the hatcher to buy chicks, you bring them uh, and you want to use these hens to, ha to, to brood them, just use, use this trick uh, by more than two hens. If it happen one rejects you will be trying another hen then afterwards after seven days bring your chicks uh, as i said do it in a box bring them in a certain container or a box do it during night hours do it when the sun has already set come in that darkness do the same bring that box with the chicks near this near one of these hens uh, make these chicks to cry to start crying of course you will just you know you will just hear this hen uh, starting to answer these chicks as it starts to answer the chicks uh, uh, keep on bringing them near keep on bringing them near of course you will be hearing uh, you will be hearing that communication between the two the mother the hen and the chicks and that's a very good sign that this hen will adopt these uh, chicks if it happens it refuses try another hen then uh it's a tick then you can be brooding the your the old chicks just by making these hens to adopt it of course i you know uh very many people are you out there uh you may fail uh, to brood your day on your day or the chicks by yourself use these very hands you can just use your hands just by tricking them uh, i told you one time the chickens are very wise in everything but one thing uh, chickens can't or lack that counting ability uh, so you can do anything you can make it to hatch more than one time you can make it to brood uh, adopted chicks you can do anything you can play anything with it so guys uh, it's a trick for today of course i have to leave this place i want to go there i want to go and prepare a place a very a very good place and a clean place for this mother you're seeing here 
uh, to take care or to brood its own chicks. I just like uh, this natural uh, brooding. Uh, I want to see chickens moving outside with the, uh, these chicks. I want to see it uh, just looking for these insects, microorganisms from the soil, doing anything. It makes me very happy. Yet, it's uh, very important or it helps a lot to those people who are just starting this venture. With the time afterwards, you can brood these day or the chicks by yourself, but you can be using these hens to do everything on your farm on their own and you can go very far so it's all about to just to know everything how to play with everything at your farm guys uh, it's more than enough for today um the chicks i send out